So this is the index, page 37. So we'll firstly look at the rules. So before that, we should know what is index. So given a to the power of m, so this a, we call it as, this one is called as base, asas. And this m is called as the index. Alright? So base and index. Index adalah kuasa. Base tu yang duduk bawah dia. Okay, baik. So let, let's look have, uh, let's look at the rules of index. Okay, the first one. Kalau kita ada tambah, ada harap. So let's say a to the power of m multiply a to the power of n. So this m dengan n kalau darab, therefore, dia punya base is still a. Alright, a. Apa jadi dekat index? So index kita akan jadi tambah like this. So we will have m tambah n. Kenapa tambah? Sebab dekat tengah darab. So itu ada satu saja. Instead of dua. Okay. Number dua. Let's say we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. Kalau divide, so still have a as the base. Kalau divide, m dia jadi, kalau bahagi jadi tolak. m tolak n. Okay, something like that. Sorry, let's let's use another color. m tolak n. Alright. So, macam mana pula kalau darab in the bracket something like this? So, still our index is still a. But let's look at this m dengan n. So, dia akan jadi m darab n. So, kita boleh tulis sebagai a to the power of m n. Okay, A to the power of M, N. What if you have A, B, C, M? Alright, so, dia akan multiply masuk ke dalam setiap satu. So, akan masuk dalam A, akan masuk dalam B, akan masuk ke atas C. Sorry. Okay, akan masuk ke atas C. So, we will have A to the power of M, and then B to the power of M, and then C to the power of M. Setiap satu tu akan dapat M. What if you have bahagi? So, sama juga, this power, dia akan masuk setiap satu. Dia akan masuk atas A, akan masuk atas B, akan masuk atas C. Yang mana duduk bahagi, bahagilah. So, A kuasa M, And then kita ada bahagi B akan dapat M juga. And then kita ada C to the power of M. Okay. A, M bahagi B to the power of M. C to the power of M. Tapi kalau kita ada satu bahagi A to the power of M. So ingat kalau satu per. So kalau nak naik A ke atas. So M ini akan berubah jadi negatif M. Sebab dia naik atas. Jadi bawah saja. Bila naik atas jadi A negatif M. Kalau kita ada A negatif M. So kita boleh turun bawah balik. So kita turun bawah jadi satu per A kuasa M. Okay, sama juga lah. Okay. Kalau kita ada square root, okay, ataupun cube root and so on. Okay, punca kuasa N, tapi dekat luar ada kuasa M. Sama dua ni. So, kita akan dapat A, sorry, A is the base, A kuasa. Tengok yang mana duduk atas, M. M duduk atas, so M duduk atas, per, dia jadi pecahan, N duduk bawah, so N duduk bawah. A kuasa M bahagi N. Okay. Kalau kita ada A kuasa kosong, so anything kuasa kosong akan jadi satu. Sepuluh kuasa kosong, satu. Enam kuasa kosong, satu. X kuasa kosong, satu. Anything to the power of zero is still one. Right. What if you have A to the power of one is still A. Dia tak berubah. Kalau kuasa satu, it's not change. B kuasa satu, B. Lima kuasa satu, lima. Tujuh kuasa satu, tujuh. Okay. What about satu kuasa M? Satu kuasa M, so satu kuasa apa-apa pun tetap satu. Satu kuasa sepuluh, satu. Satu kuasa seribu, satu. Satu kuasa A, satu. Anything. Dan satu kuasa anything pun tetap satu. So these are some rules of index. Okay, so let's have a look at the simplifying indices on your book page 37. All right, so using the rules of indices that we've learned before, all right. Um, so firstly, the first question, all right. So, when we, when we try to simplify, uh, bila kita nak permudahkan, bila darab jadi tambahkan, index tu yang tambah. Okay, now we check. Firstly, dia punya base, x, x, and x. So, kita boleh gabungkan dia jadi satu x saja. all right. Sorry, satu x saja dia punya bong, okay. Uh, daripada ada 3x, saya akan jadi 1 saja x. But the index yang akan berubah. So, firstly, kita write 5. So, kalau darab, the first one darab jadi tambah. So, the next one tambah apa? Tambah 2. Kalau bahagi, dia akan jadi tolak. Tolak 3. So, we try to simplify the index. So, you know, simplify the index. So, we'll have x to the power of 5 tambah 2, 7, 7 tolak 3, 4. So, x to the power of 4. We have something like this, alright. Next one, if we have y to the power of 3, divided y to the power negative 1, multiply y to the power 7. So, firstly check, the base is y, y, and y. So, they'll combine as 1 saja y, only 1 y. Right, so now first write the index. The first one is 3, alright. Bahagi akan jadi tolak. Next number is negative 1. So, put negative 1 in the bracket. Darab akan jadi tambah, tambah 7, you plus 7. So, simplifying this, actually you will get y to the power of, okay, 3 ne minus negative 1. So, you get actually 3 plus 1 plus 7. So, this one is simplified as y to the power of 11. Okay, done. Right, so let's have a look at the number 3. Now, number 3 have the, uh, you know, the x and y. So, you have to be careful with this one. Hati-hati. So, kita akan kumpul x dengan x, 1 dengan y. But before that, we have to expand the bracket. Alright. So, if you have bracket and other power dekat luar, something like this. So, this 3 akan masuk ke atas 1. Masuk tu means darab. So, apa yang kita akan dapat ialah, alright. So, let me write. The first one is that we have x to the power of 3, y to the power of 2, masuk dengan 3 ini, okay, darab, so jadi y to the power of 6. Alright, that one is for the first one. Okay, then we'll have to multiply with 
X to the power of 2 Tak ada apa-apa sebab dia dekat luar bracket This one Okay But yang masuk negatif 1 ini hanya atas 2 So we'll have Y 2 darab negatif 1 You get negatif 2 Darab eh Bukan tolak Perasa tolak Darab Alright so you have X square Y negatif 2 Now kita kena kumpul X dengan X Y dengan Y Semua ni Kalau maksud duduk sebelah-sebelah macam ni Maksudnya adalah darab Semua ni maksudnya adalah darab So kita darab semua sekali Okay So we'll have to combine Okay X to the power of 3 Darab dengan X to the power of 2 Alright Now we have uh, darab y to the power of 6 multiply y to the power of negative 2. Okay. And we know that kalau dia base sama means x dengan x akan jadi satu saja x. So we'll have x. So now we'll have 3. Kalau darab, darab jadi tambah. So tambah 2. Okay. But now we have another uh, variable which is y. Hang on. Y. So we'll have y to the power of. Okay. So firstly write the 6. Okay, kalau darab jadi tambah. Tambah apa? Negative 2. Put in bracket. Okay, we'll have something like this. So, simplifying this, we get x to the power of 3 plus 2 which is 5. Y to the power of 6 plus negative 2 meaning that 6 minus 2 which is 4. So, x 5, y 4. You're done. You can also write your answer as y to the power 4, x to the power 5. Boleh, sama sahaja, okay? Alright, let's have a look at the number 4. You have a5b square over ab square. So, you have to combine this a dengan a. So, you tengok a dengan a. Okay, okay. So, apa operasi antara dua tu? A, 5 bahagi a kuasa 1 sebenarnya. So, you can actually, kalau bahagi, tengok a dengan a eh. So, bahagi, so a to the power of 5 bahagi kan operasi 2 ni bahagi kan so bahagi jadi tolak A kuasa 1 kat bawah kuasa 1 alright next one we'll have to focus on the B alright so let's have a look at B so B square so write B alright B ok square kuasa 2 bahagi kan 2 ni kan alright so bahagi jadi tolak kuasa 2 ok we'll have something like this so now simplifying this you get A to the power of 4 B to the power of 0 but what is B to the power of 0 anything to the power of 0 apa-apa pun kuasa kosong akan jadi 1 so A kuasa 4 darab dengan 1 ok so this A, B kuasa kosong betul jadi 1 so now we'll have A to the power of 4 as the answer ok done alright so let's have a look at next number which is number 5 alright number 5 you have something like this eh? uh, ni very complicated lah biasanya final exam suka bagi yang macam ini lah alright so you have to the first step is that you have to expand the bracket first ok this one again 2 akan masuk ke atas ini masuk maksudnya darab so firstly we'll get ok H 2 darab 2 so 4 K kuasa 2 ok multiply H negative 3 K kuasa 1 saya tulis lah kuasa 1 Right, next one, H square K to the power of 4. So, let's have a look at the H first, okay? Kita nak gabungkan H dahulu, okay? Kita tengok H dahulu. So, H kuasa 4, darab dengan H kuasa negatif 3, bahagi dengan H 2. Okay, tengok yang warna kuning. So, apa yang kita perlu tulis ialah H as the base. Okay, kita nak gabungkan H sesat dulu, kan? So, ambil yang 4. Operasi apa? Darab, kan? Okay, so, darab jadi tambah. Darab jadi tambah. Negatif 3. Negatif 3 put in bracket And then Apa lepas antara dua ni Okay So dia jadi bahagi So bila bahagi jadi tolak So bila tolak Tolak apa Tolak 2 Okay something like this That one is for H Kita dah gabungkan semua H Sekarang kita nak gabungkan K Okay I use uh, highlighter Green highlighter Okay so K2 Darab K1 ni darab kat situ kan K1 Bahagi Bahagi tu pecahan lah kan K4 Alright so apa yang perlu tulis ialah K as the base Alright the index will be 2 Darab jadi Tambah satu sebab apa ini and then bahagi kan bahagi pecahan tu sebahagi empat sebahagi jadi tolak empat we have something like this alright so now we can write it as okay gabunglah tekan kalkulator lah empat tolak tiga uh, satu satu tolak dua negatif satu okay k pun sama dua tambah satu tiga tiga tolak empat negatif satu ha, biasanya when we have something like this we don't want the, in this form kita tak nak kuasa negatif so we'll have to rewrite this one as kalau h kuasa negatif satu meaning that it is one over h darab k dengan d satu means one over k so the answer is actually one over h k ataupun one over k h Okay, uh, barulah cantik sikit jawapan kita. Alright, just in case you, you don't know how to do the next step, uh, bolehlah berhenti sampai sini. Okay, alright. The next one. Okay, number six, you have something like this. Alright, so uh, this actually means, okay, uh, I write in one fraction, eh, m square n uh, multiply dua uh, kuasa, kuasa dua ni akan masuk ke dalam set satu, right? Alright, dia akan masuk situ. So, you'll have m square and bukan negatif 1 tambah 2 so dia darab eh negatif 1 darab 2 so negatif 2 something like this so you write it as one fraction ok so you'll have 2 m negatif 2 n something like this right now we'll have to combine the number first ok tengok nombor eh 
4 bahagi 2. Kenapa bahagi? Sebab 2 dekat bawah. So, pecahan lah walaupun apa-apa kan. So, 4 bahagi 2, of course, you get 2. No need to do anything else. Nombor simplify saja. Right, next one. We'll have to focus on the M first. M. M square, darab M square, bahagi M negatif 2. Alright, so we'll have... M as the base. Okay, so firstly you'll have M as the base. So M kuasa 2 darab jadi tambah 2 bahagi jadi tolak negatif 2. Okay, now you are done with M. Now we have another one which is N. So let's use green, green uh, blue color. So N 1, N negatif 2, N 1. So N as the base, right? So firstly kuasa 1 is there. 1 darab jadi tambah, tambah apa? Negatif 2. Alright, and then bahagi jadi tolak Tolak apa? Tolak 1 kuasa 1 dekat bawah So you'll have something like 2 Okay, M kuasa That one you have to simplify 2 tambah 2 tambah 2 jadi 6 So N is given by 1 tolak 1 Which is negative 2 lah uh, Okay, something like that Alright, so usually we don't want this kuasa negatif ini Yang ini ya, eh, this one So apa yang kita perlu buat ialah We'll have to bring that N to the power of 2 the, As the denominator Sebagai penyebut So 2 M kuasa 6 per N kuasa 2. Dia jadi duduk bawah. Dia dah bawah, hilang dah lah kuasa negatif tu. Ah, something like that. Alright. So that one is number N. Okay, let's try number... Number 6. Done eh? Number 7. Okay, let's try number 7. Alright, what if you have something like this? Okay. When you have something like this... Okay. So firstly, as usual, we'll have to expand the bracket. Meaning that kuasa 2 ni akan masuk semua. Atas nombor, atas X, atas Y. Semua sekali. Semua elemen yang ada dalam bracket. Alright. So firstly, we'll have... 2 kuasa 2, X kuasa 2 darab 2, 4, Y kuasa 2. That one darab X negatif 1 Y, bahagi, ingat bahagi X, Y kuasa 5. Bahagi semua sekali tu. Ataupun, you may be, write, may be writing this as a fraction, bahagi hmm, X, Y negatif, kuasa 5. Baru nampak sikit lah. Alright, so now we'll have to take the... Um, one by one eh? Okay So number Okay so first look at the number 2 kuasa 2 Ada lagi tak 2 Tak ada So therefore 2 kuasa 2 ialah 4 Dan Right now focus on the X So X kuasa 4 Darab X kuasa negatif 1 Bagi X kuasa 1 So we'll have X as the base So the power is actually 4 4 Darab jadi tambah negatif 1 So tambah negatif 1 Bahagi jadi tolak 1 1 tu dekat bawah Okay So now we'll have Y Y as the base And the index will be Okay focus on the Y So we'll have something like Y square Darab Y kuasa 1 Bagi Y kuasa 5 So we'll have So the index is actually 2 Okay Next Darab jadi tambah 1 Kan Lepas tu bahagi jadi Tolak 5 ha, Something like this Alright And then we'll try to simplify this one We'll get Okay 4X to the power of Okay 4 tolak 2 You get 2 Okay 2, 3 tolak 5 So you get Y negative 2 So same goes to the previous example We don't want to have the final answer as the power of negative So we have to change into 4X to the power of 2 Over Y to the power of 2 Kita kena bawa yang ini ke bawah So jadi Y kuasa 2 Okay Tak ada lah negative Right next one When we have this uh, bracket, so meaning that uh, dia darab lah. Uh, dia tak ada operasi dekat tengah-tengah ni kan. Maksudnya sebenarnya darab. Negatif 2 akan masuk ke atas setiap satu. Darab eh. Alright. So we'll have something like, okay. 25. P to the power of 3 Q. Darab. Multiply. P, sorry. P negatif 2. Q 2. Alright. So divided by 5. P negatif 1 Q Ok, so now focus on the number first 25 bahagi 5 So you'll get 5 Now focus on the P Right, focus on the P You'll get P 3 P negatif 2 P negatif 1 So you'll have P as the base Firstly, kuasa 3 Darab jadi tambah negatif 2 And then you'll have tolak negatif 1 Tolak sebab bahagi negatif 1 yang kuasa kat bawah Ok And the last one is that Q So focus on the Q So Q kuasa 1 Darab Q kuasa 2 Bahagi Q So you'll have Q as the base So you'll have Q kuasa 1 Because it's this one Darab jadi tambah 2 Bahagi jadi tolak 1 Sebab apa? Q dekat bawah Q kuasa 1 kan? Okay So simplify Simplifying this So you get 5 Okay P uh, 3 tolak 2 1 1 tambah 1 2 So P kuasa 2 Alright So next one Q ialah Q kuasa 3, uh, 2 Alright So there's no uh, negative power So you can leave your answer as this Alright So you may try the rest of the questions from your book